Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on writing sequence files. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create sequence record objects, write sequence files, convert between file formats and sort records in a file by length. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with undergraduate biochemistry or bioinformatics and basic Python programming. Refer to the Python tutorials at the given link. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Operating System version 14.10, Python version 2.7.8, IPython Interpreter version 2.3.0 and BioPython version 1.64. We have earlier learnt about parse and read functions to read contents of a file. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use write function to write sequences to a file and use convert function for interconversion between various file formats. Let me now demonstrate how to use write function. Here is a text file with a protein sequence. The sequence shown here is insulin protein. The file also has information such as GI accession number and also description. We will now create a file for this sequence in FASTA format. The first step is to create sequence record object. More information about sequence record objects. It is the basic data type for the sequence input output interface. In sequence record object, a sequence is associated with higher level features such as identifiers and descriptions. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T key simultaneously. At the prompt type IPython. Press Enter. At the prompt type the following lines. From bio.seq module import seq class. From bio.seq record module Import Sequence Record Class. Next, from Bio.Alphabet module, Import Generic Protein Class. Next, I will save the sequence record object in a variable Record1. Copy the sequence, ID and description from the text file and paste it in the respective lines on the terminal. Press Enter. To view the output, type record1. Press enter. The output shows the insulin protein sequence as sequence record object. It shows the sequence along with ID and description. We will use write function to convert the above sequence record object to a FASTA file. Import a CQIO module from bio package. Next, Type the command line with the write function to convert the sequence object to a FASTA file. The write function takes three arguments. The first one is the variable storing the sequence record object. The second is the file name to write the FASTA file. The third is the file format to write. Press enter. The output shows 1. That is, we have converted one sequence record object to a FASTA file. The file in FASTA format is saved in the home folder as example.fasta. Let me warn you, the output will overwrite any pre-existing file of the same name. To view the file, navigate to the file in the home folder. Open this file in a text editor. The protein sequence is now in FASTA format. Close the text editor. Many bioinformatic tools take different input file formats. So sometimes there is a need to interconvert between sequence file formats. We can do file conversions using convert function in SEQIO module. For demonstration, I will convert a GenBank file to a FASTA file. I have a GenBank file in my home folder. 
Let me open this in a text editor. The file contains HIV genome in GenBank format. This GenBank file has descriptions of all the genes in the genome in the first part of the file. It is followed by a complete genome sequence. Close the text editor. Type the following lines on the terminal. Here, the convert function converts the complete genome sequence present in the GenBank file to a FASTA file. Press Enter. The new file in the FASTA format is now saved as hiv.fasta in the home folder. Navigate to the file and open in text editor. Close the text editor. Even though we can convert the file formats easily using convert function, it has limitations. Writing some formats requires information which other file formats don't contain. For example, we can convert a GenBank file to a FASTA file. We can't do the reverse. Similarly, we can turn a FASTQ file into a FASTA file but can't do the reverse. For more information regarding convert function, type the help command. Press enter. Press Q on the keyboard to get back to the prompt. We can also extract individual genes from the HIV genome in GenBank format. These individual genes can be saved in FASTA or any other formats. For this, type the following code at the prompt. This code will write all individual CDS gene sequences, their IDs, and name of the gene in a file. The file is saved as HIV underscore gene seq dot FASTA in your home folder. Press enter. Using BioPython tools, we can sort the records in a file by length. Here, I have opened a FASTA file hemoglobin dot FASTA which has six records. Each record is of a different length. Type the following lines to arrange the longest record first. The new file with the sorted sequences will be saved as sorted underscore hemoglobin dot FASTA in your home folder. For short records first, reverse the arguments in the records dot sort command line. Let's summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt to create sequence record objects. Write sequence files using write function of sequence input output module. Convert between sequence file formats using convert function. And sort records in a file by length. For the assignment, extract the gene HIV1 GP3 at positions 4587 to 5165 from the genomic sequence of HIV. The file hiv.gb is included in the code files of this tutorial. Your completed assignment will have the following code. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. The Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This is Nehalata from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.